Invasives! So I don't know if you've heard the word invasive before, but you've probably heard the word native. Native, someone or something that comes from that specific area, that place. An invasive is someone or something that comes from there that is aggressive, that takes over, that overpowers the native population. So we're gonna talk about invasive plants. There are all kinds of invasive animals, but since this is a plants class, we're gonna talk about plants. So this is the textbook definition of an invasive species. Now I know it's kind of wordy, but this is really when you boil it down to what invasives are. They're not evil plants, they're not bad, they just can't live here. Now there are some plants that come from other places that are not invasive. There are a few things that you need when doing species introduction. Number one, you want to make sure that you have climate compatibility. If you're going to take a tree from Washington and put it in Arizona, is that going to do very well? Think these things through. Number two is that you need natural controls. You need predators and other plants and diseases that can make sure that this population stays down. If you don't have those, then it's going to create something called a monoculture. Have you ever seen a thicket of bamboo growing? What's in there? Anything at all but bamboo? No, it's just bamboo. Bamboo. There's nothing else growing there. There's no grass, there's no vines, there's no trees. It is just bamboo. And that's what happens. That bamboo thicket was not always a bamboo thicket. It once had elm trees or it once had persimmons, but now it's just bamboo. And it's trying to create more bamboo area because bamboo spreads very quickly. Why? Because it doesn't have those natural controls. Invasive plants are the second largest cause to plant extinction after habitat destruction. What can you do about that? Well, there are a few different projects. One, you can go out and you can pull those invasives out of the ground. You can just yank them up and carry them off to the trash or decompose them. You can also go berry snipping, which is a really fun thing to do. You just take a trash bag and you just cut all the berries off of a tree so that it can't spread. Now, if you do want to go and rip some plants out, you're going to need to talk to the property owner about that, whether it's the city, if you're doing it in a park or a public area, or if it's on private land. You always need to make sure that they're cool with you ripping their stuff out. Now there's a lot of different kinds of invasive species and it's very specific to your area. So please, please pause this video, take a minute to go and check out some of the links that we've put in the description and get familiar with what plants are in your area and make sure that you, your family, your neighbors, everyone makes wise landscaping decisions.